about Jammy? Hey, we talk about Willis. Jammy. <laughs> Come on. What, lads? A bit jammy, but... All right. In the booth. Hey, right. Banksy. Have a look at this. Wow, chocolate brownies. Still in the evidence store, yes? Yeah. You're like that bloke under surveillance. Six weeks, I got that thing. Ben and Liam pull him over for driving erratically, find this in the boot of his car. Which just goes to show you, doesn't it? Come on. You'll let D.I. Manson know, won't you? I wouldn't want to deprive you of the honour. No, I hate to look smug. How can anyone accuse you of that, Sarge? Hi, sorry. I think those gentlemen's next. Can I help you? Thank you. Excuse me, are you a police officer? Yes, I am, but madam, you need to direct your inquiries to the front desk. Please. It's my daughter. She's gone missing. She was supposed to go to a party. She's only 15. What about Saskia's dad? No, he... he doesn't live with us. Could she have gone to see him? No, no. He's in prison. Um, Walworth. <laughs> I can imagine her just turning up, you know. What's all the buzz? Yeah, that's what usually happens. Yeah. I'll kill her when she does. Would you like some tea? Uh, no, thanks. I think we'll crack Catch up. I wouldn't mind one. If you're making one, it's kind. Yeah, sure. Saskia's room. Uh, yeah, at the back. Uh, did you check to see if she'd taken any clothes or left a note or anything? Yeah, well, her overnight bag's not there, but she would have taken that if she'd been going to the party. Do you mind if I take a look? No. Thanks. Okay. Yeah, that's perfect. I'll get it circulated. I'll get it straight back to you. Hey, any luck? I see she's still in touch with her dad in prison. No, no I wasn't aware that she... He's called Eamon? Yeah. There are some letters from him in her room. <laughs> How long has he been in Woolworth? Um, th three months. He got 16 years for murder. But that was 13 years ago, and Saskia was two when he went inside, and she, she never really knew him. But he's about to come out on licence. You won't go when he comes in? I don't know. How does Saskia feel about it? I don't know. Do you think this is connected, Saskia disappearing? Maybe. It's a bit too early to say. But... So this new case, another chance for Uniform to triumph, then, eh? Well, not being funny, but how long are you two going to keep going on about it? You oh, got lucky. Whatever, what? whatever, mate, we've recovered 20 grand's worth of bash. Yeah, and it weren't luck, Mickey Darling, it was Copper's Instinct. Exactly. Instinct? Let me tell you something about Copper's oh, Instinct, Oh, you know right? Copper's Instinct, that thing you lose when you go upstairs to see I do. Three against one, I'm walking Ah, so caught cool. you checking me out, didn't I? No! Yes, you was! <laughs> right, listen up. Saskia Fuller, age 15. 
Went missing from Deansgate Comprehensive yesterday afternoon between 3.15 and 3.30. Less than 24 hours. She's never been missing before. Checked her room, no sign of running away. I need somebody to go to school. Right, talk to her mates, talk to the teachers, and pull any CCTV they might have of her leaving school, all right? Sir. I'll get them to the prison, Sarge. Right? Our old man's inside. For what? Murder. Where are we at? Leon's on his way down to the school to talk to a friend. Has she got a boyfriend? No one in particular. Governor, I spoke to Woolworth. They said that they may have something for us. They intercepted a letter. Should have emailed it across. Okay. Here's Eamon Fuller's case file. And the victim is a Paul Winston. Eamon beat him to a pulp in a pub, and a bloke died shortly afterwards. He was picked up, he was blind drunk. When he comes round in the cells, he swears he can't remember a thing. Now, suddenly now he's admitted his guilt that he's looking at parole. Given the chance of release, he's seen the error of his ways. Well, he would, wouldn't he? Yeah. Candice has spoken to him about Saskia. Apparently now he wants to talk to us as well. Really? Yeah. Yeah? It's from the prison. It's not exactly a threat. But it can't be a coincidence, can it? Have the prison still got the original? Mm -hmm. Let's get it to the lab. Gov, the victim's wife, Trudy Vincent, she still lives in Sun Hill. Should have been informed of Eamon Fuller's release. Shall I check her out? Yeah. You from the police? Yes, I'm DC Jacob Banks, Sun Hill CID. I didn't think I was that obvious. Well, I don't get many visitors, and you'll not have been round once already recently. So I assumed. I see. Come through. Well, I'll tell you the same as I told them. It's a long time ago. I don't get reminded of it. I can usually get through the day without getting upset. I understand it must be hard when you're reminded. Mm. Unfortunately, Eamon Fuller has a daughter, Saskia, and she's gone missing. And do you think it might be connected to his release? Possibly. He was also sent hate mail. And do you think I might know something about it? He took a life, Mr. Banks. There are countless people out there who think murderers should get life. There's a 15-year-old gone missing. The family feels scared. Yeah, I doubt that man's capable of feeling anything. Eamon Fuller's a violent alcoholic. Who murdered my husband? You should never be let out. Never. Truly, Vincent was very open about her feelings towards Eamon Fuller. And? He murdered her husband. He ruined her life. If she had anything to do with this, he's doing a good job at covering. To be honest, I think she's a broken woman, girl. Uh, I've spoken to Saskia's teachers and friends, all saying pretty much the same thing. Bright, popular, no problems they're aware of. What about the party Saskia's meant to go to last night? Yeah, she told her friend she didn't fancy it. Didn't give a reason? No. Is that it? Uh, one of her teachers said she'd bunked off school a couple of times recently. Did any of them mention Saskia's dad? Did any of them know she was in touch with him? No. Thanks, Lou. I think we need to speak to Eamon Fuller in person. Neil, have a look at this. This bloke here in the white T-shirt. And here comes Saskia Fuller. Do we know who he is? Ben's down at the school now, but so far nobody's clapped eyes on him before. Saskia certainly knows who he is. He looks much older than her. Yeah, that's what worries me. We need to identify this guy now. Someone from Sun Hill.
about Saskia. What's happened to her? We don't know that anything's happened. But she didn't come home last night and her mother contacted us. She's in trouble, isn't she? We don't know that. No, she is. Because of me. Do you know anything else? Is there anything you're not telling me? No. We're still following up leads. Tell me about you and Saskia. We've been seeing each other. She never wanted to before, but... Recently she's been visiting quite a lot. It's the one thing I've had to hold on to. She started calling me dad. So she's been writing to you. Has she mentioned anything about a guy, boyfriend, someone she didn't want a mother to know about? Yeah. Have you kept the letter? Yeah, I have. I've kept them all. Are you on the program? Yeah. Turn me round. Couldn't have been easy. Here you go. Thanks. And um, do you need to take them with you? If you don't mind. Yeah, go on. Thanks. Look, um. There's nothing I can do here. So I need to know that you're doing everything you can. Of course we are. Is there something you think we should be doing? I can only think of one person that might want to, um... You've been to see Trudy Vincent? Yes, I have. You think she might have something to do with Saskia? I don't know. I mean, has she been informed about my release? We always notify members of the victim's family. How is she? Not right. No, it's strange after all this time, but... Someday I hope I can speak to her and... You know, just let her know that... I'm sorry. I'm not sure she'll be up for that. No. You're probably right. You let me know what's happening, yeah? Thank you. Anything on Crimmett for Trudy Vincent? Nothing, Gav. She's never even been associated with a criminal. Yeah, listen to this. Uh, I just met this really cool guy, Rick. I haven't told my mum about him, but I'm not even sure what's going on yet. She wouldn't get it. What's the date on that? 13th of September. Okay, August, August. Yeah, there's a text here signing off with R. Quite a few from that same number, Gav. I'm all alone. Wish you were here. You're so fit. Doesn't sound very platonic, does it? Get on to Candy, see if she knows of Rick. Yo, got something of interest. Not that. This is from the other side of the junction opposite the school. 1539. And then a little bit further down the same road, less than a minute later, Nothing platonic about that. And that's it. Thanks, man. Andy, she's never heard of a Rick. Eddie. Really? Okay, thanks. Eddie's got a set of prints from the letter the prison intercepted. They belong to a Richard Vincent. Vincent? As in truly Vincent? As in Trudy. And there he is. Car theft, burglaries going back to when he was 12. Most recently, possession with intent to supply, sentenced to three years. Banksy, I think you need to speak to his mum. 
You never mentioned Richards, your son. We suspect he's abducted Saskia Fuller. You knew? No, no, I didn't. When was the last time you saw him? Um, maybe a month ago. I must admit, I can understand why. I know how much I'd like to hurt Eamon Fuller. Make him feel the way I did. And Richard felt the same. Well, of course, he lost his dad at 14, the man he idolised. How do you think that would make you feel? I think it would kill me. We tried to stick together as a family, but... It... Richard's been in a lot of trouble. It seems to have affected him most. He's a good lad deep down. He just can't seem to sort his head out. I need your help to get Saskia back safely. I just don't think I can do anything for him. For Eamon. Or his family. Then for Richard. What he's done is serious. If we can't stop him, he could go to prison for the rest of his life. Like Eamon. Trudy and her son aren't close. She doesn't know where he lives, hasn't got any contact details for him. But she spoke to him a month ago. Whatever the deal is, she's not going to help us find it. Governor, we've accessed Saskia's networking site. Richard Vincent contacted her about four months ago, lied about all the usuals, name, age. We've just told Trudy Vincent that her son has abducted a 15-year-old girl. Surely she's going to make contact with him now. Even if she does, I... I want a phone tapped. Trudy Vincent hasn't done anything wrong, Gov. If she's protecting her son, she has. But we don't know if that's true. Our priority is tracing Saskia Fuller. We'll do whatever it takes. Excuse me. Candice Fowler's in the front office. She wants to speak to someone. I need to know what's happening. We think Saskia's with the man in the photo that we showed you. Who is he? His name's Richard Vincent. He's the son of the man that your husband murdered. <laughs> so it's about revenge? And if that's the case, he's gonna hurt her, isn't he? We don't know yet. We just... We just know that they forged some sort of relationship over the past few months. Does she say anything to you at all? Places that she's gone, friends that she's known? <laughs> she wouldn't. She doesn't... trust me anymore. Until a year ago, she thought her father was dead. Is that what you told her? I didn't know what else to say to her. How could I explain to her what he did? I don't know. But it sounds like Eamon's connected with Saskia in some way. I don't even want to think about that. Her seeing him. One of my colleagues has been around to visit your husband. It seems like Eamon's taking responsibility for his actions. Obviously, he feels incredibly guilty. Oh, well, guilt and respect. Responsibility are just words. All I care about is my daughter, and it's just been me and her <laughs> for so long. And the idea of anything happening to her, please find her. Oh, please find her. And Ethan Saskia's relationship at the rocks when she found out about her dad. Apparently they barely even talk to each other now by the sounds of it. Well, none of her friends know about Eamon either, so she's not been confiding in them. No. So when Richard Vincent rolls up, she's easy prey. She's probably desperate for someone to talk to. Yeah. Well, the one positive we've got is that Richard and Saskia have been in contact for a while now. He's got to know her, so hopefully that's going to make it much more difficult for him to harm her. Yeah, fingers crossed. Yeah. There's a call on Trudy's phone. Richard? Richard, please. I know what you've done. He's gonna feel how we feel. This isn't the right thing. I'm making sorry you murdered that. Well, I don't know. We'll never know. But, but what you're doing now is madness. It is. It's not helping. Now, Eamon Fuller wants out of prison, Mum. That's all he's interested in. But, but whether that's true or not, we can... Why should we be the only ones who suffer? <laughs> no, I'm doing this for the both of us. Just tell him it's not what you want. 
Come on, Trudy. Is she hung up? Yeah. Okay, what do we know about Richard Vincent? Well, Richard's probation officer reckons that he's unstable. He says he's lost two jobs in the last two months. One after a violent argument with a female supervisor. Well, there you go. There's a possibility he could hurt Saskia. We know he's been grooming her. He's been doing this to her, Eamon. And in turn, he's going to hurt Saskia too. Why not? Why after all these years? Eamon's about to be released. Richard hates the idea that people will think he's sorry for what he did. And he wants the punishment to continue. Can we persuade him otherwise? I'm not sure how. We could use Trudy. She doesn't have the best relationship with her son, Gov. And I don't think she believes Eamon's sorry either. Unless she can convince him that he is. I mean, she's the only one that could reason with Richard. How do we do that? Trudy needs to meet Eamon. He murdered her husband. He's already told us that he wants to meet her, so let's make it happen. We can use him to unlock Trudy. That way she could reach out to her son, put a stop to this. Unlock her, Gov. Can you imagine what she's been through? Are we really going to put her in the same room as that man? What other choice do we have, eh? Even if I agree with the idea, I don't think Trudy will. Well, whether you agree with the idea or not, DC Banks, it's your job to convince her, OK? I want you to do it. Gov. He wanted to see you. This was before he knew what Richard had done. He said he wanted to look you in the eye. Did he? Well, that won't ever happen. Do you know what Eamon Fuller did to my husband, Mr Banks? He smashed the pint glass over Paul's head. And when Paul dropped to the floor, Eamon stamped on his head more than ten times. Paul would have been dead after the fifth. And do you know why he did that? Because Paul knocked into him and spilled his bite. After the trial, I had something of a breakdown. The relief of Eamon being sentenced and the grief of losing Paul. I was almost sectioned. Richard taken away from me. But I clung on in the hope that things would get easier and that I would never have to see that man's face again. <laughs> the fact is... I've been sent to ask you. There's a feeling that it might help you, and if it did, you might help us. Help me? How? In, in what way? To move on. Oh, it all sounds so easy, doesn't it? Is that what they think? She should move on? Have you ever known such injustice, Mr Banks? Such senseless death? Recently, I worked on a case, a kid, 15 years old. He was mucking about with his mates. One of them had a knife. They upset some bloke, and he battered the kid to death. I just couldn't accept what the guy had done. And now, can you forgive him? Or accept it? I don't think so. And how can you ask me to do this? I suppose I'm suggesting your relationship with Richard might benefit from it. I know it's a massive thing for you to face. But what if he is sorry? Could you handle that? Hello. 
I'm on the phone company of Ping Richard's phone. What have they got? Well, it's in the southeast. That's Kennington, Oval, Elephant and Castle. Still on the sound of the car. No, but we have got the registration, remember. Nothing back from the TE check or the AMPR, but Smith is sending units down there now. That's how'd it go? Hard to say. I thought she's willing to meet him. That's good. Is it? I'm not sure it's the right thing to do. Could break her. Her anger's been a backbone. Take that away. Banksy, her anger has driven us onto this. It's like forcing psychiatric treatment on someone. I'm just worried about what happens after. And I'm worried about a 15-year-old girl. So I'm going to call the prison and set it up. I need you just off the Elephant and Castle on World Bank Road. We know that Richard Vincent was there less than 15 minutes ago, over. OK, the three of you, can you get down to Richard Vincent's flat? Well, I thought so you were down there already. Banks is taking Trudy Vincent to see Eamon Fuller. You serious? Yeah. Look, he's just driving around inside a five-mile radius. We've got two squad cars through. Let's head down there. Look, I've got three cars down there already. Yeah, but another two in there, would not he? He knows we're on to him. He's not going to go back to his flat, is he? Just get on with it. I can't see him again. It's up to you. I hate them. Nothing's going to change that. We can end this at any point. If either of you feel you need to leave, you can. If you don't want to say anything, that's fine. I am... Um, I suppose that...
It was. And I need, I need to... to... So we've got a 15-year-old girl being driven around by a homicidal nutter while CID are organising a meet and greet down at Woolworth Prison. Is that right? Sure, they know what they're doing. That's a very dangerous assumption, Ben. <laughs> very dangerous. They're in the beanie Yeah, that's Vincent, that's him. Please, tell me you are! Well, if Saskia isn't with Richard Vincent, where the hell is she? No idea, we sir. We can't afford to make any more mistakes on this one, all right? Sir, uh... How exactly did he get away, Sarge? He jumped up a walkway, Mickey. Well, you didn't think to chase him. At least we got close. Where were you lot? Oh, I remember. On the table, the murderer. Banksy, how's it going? <sighs> it's not going to plan, Gov. Well, listen, we can't take this at a leisurely pace, OK? We need Trudy on side right now. She needs to put another call into Richard. I'm about to physically restrain her. Banksy, make it happen. Huh. What we got? Oh, Richard's car got them taken about an hour ago. She's still in the car with him. Where are they? At Spicer Street, just up the junction from the Elcott. Here. Well, this is where the phone was triangulated. That puts them in the north end of this area for the second time today. We need to know why they're... His phone's still off, so call his probation officer again. Has he got friends there? Does he work around there? I'll get uniform to check the CCTV from the area. He's on the move. Hey, he's, um... He's not what I thought he'd be. Maybe that's the problem. You're looking for the old person. Is he, is he still here? Yeah, still here. I should have done that. This is very hard for me. I can imagine.
For a long time, I just wanted to hurt you. To make you know how much you'd hurt me. I suppose I want to tell you about Paul. I miss him. I miss the sound of his voice. His smell. Still got his clothes, but they don't smell of him anymore. He was a kind man, a, a, a good man. You took a good man. A husband. And he looked after me. And you took a father. My son Richard's grown up without a man to teach him, and it's made him do this now. You've made him do this. You're responsible for what he's doing to your daughter. I know. I've done the same to my family. I don't know how to live with it. So what are you going to do? I don't know. But all I can say to you is, I'm sorry. I mean it. I'm sorry. I can't live stuck in the past anymore. But to forgive... No, I can't do that. It's not my right. Only Paul could do that. That's all. That's all. feel different? In a way, it was easy to think of him as a monster. What happens now? You need to talk to your son. Oh, I don't know how to get hold of him. Yes, you do, Trudy. You called him earlier today. You've been listening in. A girl's life is in danger. Trudy. This has got to stop. We didn't have any no, choice. No, no, I mean this situation. We need to put an end to it. What do you want me to say to him? Talk him down if you can. Persuade him to release the girl, that would be ideal. But keep him on the phone long enough so we can run a trace on where he is. That would be enough. Are you prepared to do that? I'll try. I think this phone was about 15 minutes ago. We had a fix on the elephant at Castle. Now it's disappeared. The phone was switched on again a couple of minutes ago. Different place. Just a second. 51.5 uh, degrees north Liverpool Street, Governor. Banksy. Good. Good work. Liverpool Street, right? I'll get a team over to join you. All right. Yep, Trudy spoke to Richard again, that's where he is. All right, Governor. The suspect is at Liverpool Street Station. Now, he's already been spooked once today, so he's going to be twitchy. We do not let him get away again. You liaise with each other and you keep me informed of your positions when you get there. Is that clear? Over. Receive.
Let's ask you. Where is she? I spent some time with your mother today. She's quite an incredible woman. She's told me how things have been for you both over the last ten years. Doesn't sound easy. In a way, this is her fault. She let her anger shape you. It's Eamon Fuller's fault. And if his daughter dies, that'll be his fault too. No, all this pain could have ended with your dad. You've allowed it to continue. If your mother had forgiven Eamon all those years ago when you were a kid, how do you think you'd feel now? How could she? I agree. But today, I went with your mother to see Eamon in prison. No, don't worry, it's okay. She hasn't forgiven him. But she's accepted what he's done and who he is. And I think it helped her. I lost everything. Everything. No, you still have your mother. And you're only in your 20s. Younger than your dad was. You could still be like him. But if Saskia dies, you'll be like Eamon. I wanted to hurt her. I wanted to kill her. But you didn't. No. Couldn't. She was hurt too. Like me. Her mom didn't want to remember her dad. Didn't want to talk about him. So I couldn't. Will you tell me where she is, Richard? Doing business with the prison work, then? Yeah. Thought you might like to see this. Lab report on the stuff you found in the guy's car this morning. Cat at a Julius. Cat. A legal high. Not a controlled substance in the UK. Well, wouldn't he tell us it wasn't dope? Maybe so he could see that exact face when it got released. <laughs> We're in the pub having a drink, Sarge, when you finish your paperwork. Support found an unidentified body in the river this morning. These are dead, no one has even noticed. Maybe he's a vagrant. You think the car belongs to this guy? Yeah, uh, Reggie Sharp. No address, rough sleep. I might stay out here, you know. See if I can get him talking. Really? Come on, get down! Get down! Jack wants to know if you're okay staying out here. Yeah, I'm fine. Just watch yourself, okay? 